In this video, I'll quickly show you how to download and install GIMP on a Linux operating system. I'm doing this on Linux Mint, so these instructions will be very similar on Ubuntu and most modern uh, Linux distributions. I'm going to left-click in the bottom left-hand corner, and I'm going to just search for software and find my software manager. This is also called a package manager sometimes. Um, and these are different depending on the operating system you're using, but it's sort of like the uh, app store for mobile phones. So we can click on and look at some of these different programs to install, or we can just search the one we want, which in this case it's GIMP. And this is the easiest, most straightforward way to install software on Linux. So if you're just getting started with Linux, um, this is I recommend doing it this way, but there are some other ways I'll show you in a second. This shows us all the packages we can possibly install that have the word GIMP in them. A lot of these are add-ons, um, but with the one we want is just this very top one. We can tell because it has lots of reviews. It's kind of the most popular download called GIMP. And so this is the program we want, and we can just click Install to install it. But we can also scroll down and learn more about it. We can read reviews. The most important thing to note, though, is that this is version 2.8.22, which is not the latest version. So that's one of the downsides of installing with the software manager is that you get later versions. We see on the website the current version is 2.10.12. And so uh, that's kind of all software you download this way. It tends to be a little bit older because it's more stable and geared towards um, not crashing. And the older versions are kind of more stable, they just work better with, the, with this operating system. So I'm going to left click on install. It'll prompt me to enter my password. So I'll put that in. And uh, the nice thing about this too, it downloads much, much quicker, like 10 times faster than it would on Windows because it only downloads the libraries that it needs to run properly. Once it's downloaded, we can click launch, and we now have GIMP installed on the computer. So check out my other tutorials if you're curious about learning how to use GIMP. We can also launch it by just uh, left-clicking in the bottom uh, left-hand corner, and now we can just type in GIMP, and we see it's installed. It's a program that we can access. We can click. I think this has it broken down into graphics as well, so it's under this graphics tab of the start menu. If we ever want to uninstall it, we can click remove. Um, and then I want to show you you can download also, if you want to get the later version, the 2.10, um, you can click on Downloads here. And the steps to do that are here on GIMP.org. I'll also include that link. So you can download this, and it uses Flatpak. So Flatpak is going to be, it's kind of a nice way of, of installing software. If you're not familiar with that, check out some other videos on Flatpak. Anyway, it's just a simple command that you type in the, the terminal. And so you would just copy this command and paste it in here once you have Flatpak installed. Which brings me to another way. You could just use the app manager, very similar to what we did with the software manager, where we just go sudo apt install uh, GIMP, and that would install it. We put in our password. This is sort of like the command line version of what we already did, but it tells us here this is already installed, so there's zero newly installed because it already has it. So this is kind of the text version of doing what we already did with the software manager. Uh, and as a third thing I want to show you, I already now I have two versions of GIMP installed. If I go to this launchers, I previously downloaded this GIMP 2.99. So this is the latest development version. It's going to look different. The splash screen is different. It's going to have a different look and feel to it somewhat. It's still very similar, but it has some more features and different things built in than the 2.10 version. Anyway, this is the version that I'm going to be using uh, to do the tutorials, and it's going to be kind of the, the latest version um, probably as of next year, this will be released, GIMP 3.0, hopefully. Uh, if you want to download that, I'll include the link also in this description. You can find it at this GitHub page. You can just scroll down. You can also download just the app images uh, of 2.10, uh, different versions of 2.10, but you'll want to go down to the latest version uh, at the time of, not at the time of this video. There may even be later ones in the future, but I did this one right here. I think it's the one with plugins. You can just left click and it down, starts downloading that. You can save it to your computer. And then once it's downloaded, uh, you need to go to where it's downloaded, right click and go to properties and then go to permissions and make sure that you can check this. It says allow to execute as a program. This may look different depending on your what you're using. Again, this, this second half of the video is all kind of if you want to go above and beyond and get the latest version, but just the, the standard one that we installed will be good if you're just starting out. And then an app image, if you're not familiar with it, it's just a file, uh, like a large file that contains all the libraries and everything you need pre-compiled to just run it, sort of like a portable version. We could put this on a jump drive and go run it on just about any Linux, modern Linux operating system. So it's a good way to go if you're not, if you're 
don't have the right dependencies on your computer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go ahead and check out my tutorials uh, teaching how to use GIMP. Leave any, your, your questions and comments below if you have any. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.